and welcome and thank you for joining us uh, on your live safari. We're out on Amakala Game Reserve here in the Eastern Cape province and we've started off with a lone meerkat at the den. Shame man, you guys all alone this morning. Good morning everybody, my name is Andrew and Morgan is behind the camera. Hope you're all doing fantastically well, excited. And yeah, we're going to try and find as much as we possibly can this morning. And I think it's quite a good start that we have got uh, a meerkat at the den. I'm sure you can hear the sound that he's making. So I just want you to hear that. What happened yesterday was he got separated from the rest of the gang and uh, he felt a little bit, uh, how do I say, felt vulnerable. And so he ran back to the den site, which is here, and uh, he spent the whole night by himself and which is not really good because you know they do transfer each other's body heat inside the the tunnels and in the rooms inside the den and last night must have been a fairly cold night and given that it did rain this morning and it's fairly cool this morning i'm sure this little guy is quite enthusiastic about finding his his buddies but remember we are live and interactive um, and if you're watching on the app or the website you can register to ask us any question you like and then also if you are watching on youtube Bear in mind that uh, if you do subscribe, um, you can have access to all the amazing content that we, we're seeing during our adventures out here. Very rare sighting of a rare animal here in Amakala. Look at that, it's an odd wolf. Incredible, you are very lucky and well spotted, Morgan. Very nervous, it's just running away from us now. I'm not sure how long it's going to stick around, but you all can see it, right? Look at that. This is a huge odd wolf. Morgan, I don't know how you spotted that. Very well done. Yeah, and we're still seeing it. Usually when it comes to odd wolf, you've got a few seconds and that's it. Oh, <laughs> he said jumped across the road there. <laughs> All right, now in five years, I've only seen about maybe 10 at most of these animals. Oh, there's a, warthog above it. Yeah. Oh, there's a huge warthog just above the odd wolf now. It's a bit of a standoff. It's going to walk right past that warthog. Okay, yeah, the sighting is quite far away. We can't zoom in any more than what we are now. <laughs> Check the odd wolf now. Decided, no, 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 warthog is too big. Nice. <laughs> I was not expecting that this morning. Oh, there the odd wolf goes. our way back to the dam here. And these elephants all kind of like doing their own little thing here. And that's the beauty of being live with us here, that you can experience the bushveld. I do love, love watching them. Oh, hyena. Yay, I love hyenas. I'm so excited. This is a spotted hyena. Oh. Hello you. I'm going to pull out my special tool as well, my binoculars. Hyenas are one of my favorite, favorite animals. Well, hello. 
we're watching the rhino and it's hiding behind all of the branches, but we do have a sneaky visitor. Look at this hyena. Hello. But it's definitely been feeding on something. Can we help you? We had some blood. Is this, I don't, I'm terrible with remembering the hyenas, but why do I want to say it's gang, gangrika? But I could be, of course, making that up. I could be fibbing. My um, hyena identifying knowledge is nowhere near as good as Trisha's. But it doesn't look like a, a monster hyena. Not huge in body size, still quite young. But off it goes, just a quick glimpse of it. And now we're ending back here again, and I feel like the buffalo. Look at that one. What is it doing? They've all like got a spring in their, their step. They're bucking and bronking. We also might be able to hear a chainsaw now, as we're quite close to the main Gari gates. But it is an enormous herd. It's definitely more than 60 individuals. Uh, I haven't seen the whole herd just yet, but they are still filtering in. So they have given us a bit of a run around this morning. So I think instead of actually them crossing into Bufflesock, I think they might have stuck down south, gone towards Simbambili, which is a, another property near Gari Gate. And then now they're coming back again and going north. So they all seem to be quite confused. We've learned a term that when you go, to go looking for dragonflies, it's called oding. I'm not an experienced odor. After I've been in the sun for a while, then I'm, yeah, then I'm a very interesting odor. But um, <laughs> you know what I mean. But uh, it's fascinating nonetheless. It's so tricky. I'm even just looking at what its clasps look like because maybe that's going to help me. I don't know. I have no idea. It's quite a big dragonfly just because obviously looking at it like this is not... Um, really helpful in terms of determining size but it's bigger than the drop wing what's that now what's this thing that's just landed here oh no this is all too stressful for me is it the drop wing again are you just showing off looks like you've got red veins in your wings please sit in your normal position i mean i could be also misidentifying that one well we've got a lot to learn and it's obviously always nice to venture into the unknown it has been a wonderful morning with all sorts of crazy things. How cool was that sighting with Andrew down at Amakala and Ardvolf during the day? Pretty spectacular. But we're going to do it all again this afternoon, so make sure you join us for the Sunset Safari.